I think a lot of us have to take a step back and give our heads a shake, screw it on a little better. A frank admission from Immigration Minister Mark Miller about the Liberals' future. A message coming from not just a cabinet minister, but a close friend and former groomsman of Justin Trudeau. My advice as a close friend would not be given publicly. My advice to him as a minister uh, and as a colleague professionally uh, is absolutely to, to stay on. A sentiment shared by a number of current cabinet colleagues, many of whom owe their own electoral success to the prime minister. It's really easy to listen to Twitter and TikTok and social media. I challenge anyone to actually spend time in communities like Glace Bay and really see what's happening on the ground in Canada. But the message on the ground in Toronto, a massive rejection of the Trudeau Liberals, losing a seat held for 30 years in Monday's by-election. Yet trust in the Prime Minister and his message has not wavered publicly. He is still the most important leader of a generation to make transformational change in this country. And if you look at the polls, the addictions minister is right. Only former Bank of Canada Governor Mark Carney and Deputy Prime Minister Christian Freeland could even slightly increase the Liberals' chances as leader. Other potential leadership candidates, Ministers Sean Fraser, Anita Anand, Melanie Jolie and Francois-Philippe Champagne would all put the Liberals in an even worse political situation. But that hypothetical race seems unlikely to happen soon. None of the members of parliaments or ministers that I've spoken to have told me that they, they think that the Prime Minister should go. That lack of organized pushback against Trudeau's leadership, a distinct change in treatment compared to what Jean Chrétien, Paul Martin and even Stéphane Dion got from Liberals Donna, a remarkable loyalty to a prime minister down 20 points in the polls. Okay, Mackenzie Gray in Ottawa, thanks.